So um, I guess I'll start off on Thursday. Last Thursday was one of the rare games where you did have a reception. I know you're happy with the win. I, I know you're happy with the win, but I was just curious. Uh, outside of them being between Marley Humphrey, what did you see from the way the Ravens were trying to defend you? It's just one of those games. Uh, you know, like you said, it's a team win. It's a team game. Uh, and, I mean, now we're, you know, stacking good weeks on top of each other, and that's the most important part. Um, so I'm very, you know, pleased with the way that, you know, we're progressing as an offense, as a defense, special teams, uh, together in all three phases. And uh, now, obviously, another great opportunity to uh, continue to improve and get better throughout the, the course of this week. Um, had essentially an extra day today. And, uh, you know, we got seven more opportunities this, this year. Um, and uh, just take them, you know, day by day and try to continue to improve. We know about the, uh, I'm sorry, we, we, we know about Fitz's aura in terms of how he is in the huddle. With Tua, is there something unique about his aura? Obviously, he was such a winning player at Alabama. His personality is infectious. What, what's the Tua aura when he comes into the game and helps lead you all to the win? Um, I don't really know specifically what, I mean, I'm not, I mean, he's obviously a great kid, good leader, gets in there, crowd went crazy, all that kind of stuff. Um, but he's cool, calm, collective, and gets in the huddle, you know, does his job and does it at a effective rate. And, you know, everybody is excited to, you know, play with him and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, I mean, love having him back there and um, happy to have him in there. Do you still feel like you had an imprint on the game because they had to alter what they would probably normally do to uh, counter you? That kind of led to some uh, breakdowns in their, in their second uh, things like that? Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't really care uh, like about that, honestly. Like, it's not like I'm trying to, like, walk away from the game. Like, oh, you know, it was a moral victory here that, like, together as a team, you know, we, we got to win, and that was really the most important part. Um, said the same thing after week one when – you know, came in here and everybody wanted to know if I was ready to pretty much hand in my helmet and, you know, go home and call it a, call it a season. Uh, so, like I said, you know, I'm, you know, most focused, you know, helping this team in any way, shape or form that I can. And uh, whether that's, you know, supporting the guys, whether that's playing my role, um, you know, making plays in the passing game or whether that's, you know, attracting some coverage or whatever it is, uh, you know, we got plenty of guys on this team that can make plays. And I think that, you know, we proved that on Thursday night. You said that the spirits have been high despite you know the previous losing streak. But after winning two games, getting a big win in front of the entire country, and you know getting these few days off, you came back. I mean, do you see that maybe like there's a maybe emotions and spirits are even more boosted? Um, I think that's probably the most important part for for me personally. The way I carry myself, um, obviously, you know, in the moment, you know, you make a play, you get excited. But after that. Um, I mean, never too high, never too low. You know, you, you, you play you play great, it's on to the next one. You play not so great, it's on to the next one. Uh, that's kind of how I carry myself. Um, and I think that, you know, for the most part, professionally in this league, that's how you have to carry yourself. And I think that that's how this team carries himself. Um, already excited to, you know, have another opportunity this week. So, obviously, there's positivity and there's, you know, happiness and all that kind of stuff. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, we're still – three and seven, you know, so we got to come in here each and every day and, you know, fight to get to four and seven. And then we'll talk to you guys next week about new goals. So do you look at that standings personally, do you think you have a possibility looking forward or you stay day by day like it's Flores? Day by day, day by day. Right now we got a squad meeting at four o'clock. So that's our next focus. And then uh, we go OD from 4.30 to 5.30. And then I'll probably roll out, stretch, get in the hot tub, the cold tub. Probably leave here around, we'll call it 6.30. Go home, see what Durham's doing. Maybe hang out with Durham. And uh, before I know it, wake up tomorrow and come back in here and do it all over again. So, you know, you try not to look, you know, too far ahead. Just take it, you know, day by day and, you know, just be where your feet are. Mike, how, how important is it for you to lead by example? Will you get plenty of catches in a game or will you not? How important is it for you to be the same and for you to have the example for this? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's a team game. You know, it's not, you know, Mike Kosicki versus the other, you know, 11 guys on defense. So when you see a guy like Isaiah Ford go out there and have 
four catches for 84 yards or whatever the heck he had. And you see Albert Wilson make a huge play at the end of the game for 60 plus yards. And, um, you know, Adam Shaheen go up and make, you know, three catches for however many yards he had. And, you know, Durham, uh, you know, put on the Jets there a little bit and uh, make, make a big play. Um, you know, contributions from both of our quarterbacks. Uh, X on defense make a big play and, you know, return that for a touchdown. Uh, some guys in the kicking game. So I mean, there's so many. There's so much more to it than than yourself. And um, there's a lot of games, and I'm going to play a lot more games in my career. And I will have another game in my career where I have no catches. And if we have a win, I will be ecstatic. Dorm was much faster than I expected. Yeah, I don't know what the numbers came out to be, um, but uh, he was moving. Uh, that's. I'm not going to give him too much too much praise. I mean, he at that point it looked like he was the only person on the field. I mean, there was nobody around him, so uh, I mean, he pretty much just ran his 40 yard dash from the combine. But uh, I am happy for him. Uh, so maybe he hit his whatever he hit four four nine five at the combine, whatever he hit. Just one more up for me on on Waddle. Um, what do you think he can become? You know what I mean? Like, what what do you think? How good? Uh, yeah, I mean, you don't want to put expectations or anything, you know, on a, on a guy. But I think Jalen Waddle is a is a special player, you know, being himself, and um, he can get in and out of cuts. He can make you know catches where he, he knows he's going to get hit, like the one uh, at the end of the third quarter uh, on Thursday. Uh, he's extremely quick, has good hands, and he's a good teammate. So uh, he's young, and he has a lot of. Uh, a lot of potential, and I think that that's uh, something that he's going to continue to work on and get get better each and every day to reach his full potential. You're New Jersey guy. Do you always look forward to this week uh, going over to play the Jets? Um, yeah, it's uh, it's fun. Obviously, you know, you walk out in the stadium and you hear a lot of people. You know, hey, I'm from Manahawk, and hey, I'm from Tom's River. Hey, I'm from da -da -da. like, and then you're like, all right, yeah, like I, I, you know, good seeing you, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it is it is good, you know, getting back in New Jersey and all that kind of stuff. You know, seeing. Uh, Seeing some family, it's easier for them to get to games and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's cool, it's exciting. Um, but like I said, uh, our number one goal was to go up there and get a win. So. This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show.